Clutter or cash flow? That's something I want to talk about today. Mike and Linda, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, folks, and this is the show uh, where we work together one-on-one, -on -one, right? You uh, reach out to me and my team, and we will reach out back to you and set you up on a series of videos, right? You go to HoltonWise.com, Property Search for Sale tab, you click the MLS Search and Analysis Show, and you order a package or set of packages uh, the MLS search analysis packages, right? And then what happens is I email you personally, uh, asking you a ton of questions about your wants, your needs, your goals. I really just want to, to get an understanding of you, who you are, what you're working with, what you're trying to do, right? After I get that, I start working on your videos. Uh, sometimes I'm at the Holton Wise TV studio. Right now, I'm at my home office because I just had another kid. So currently spending a little bit more time at home, which is great because real estate investing is a passive income stream, right? My money works for me, so I'm not chained to a desk or a physical location, right? That's kind of why you guys reach out to Holton Wise. You don't want to be chained to a specific place you need to be at a specific time, right? You don't want to be in traffic two hours a day, stuck at a location between nine to five, Monday through Friday, right? You want to be able to care for your family, uh, make money, earn income, but be able to do it on your own terms, right? Real estate has let me do that. And uh, hopefully when I'm done working with you guys or, you know, I could just, I guess what I'm saying, not necessarily done working with you guys, but I can help you guys uh, among your other business ventures uh, to really, you know, just kind of accomplish that goal, right? And uh, the folks I'm working with today, Mike and Linda. Linda, I've been talking to you primarily uh, you would like to build uh, some cash flow producing assets. And you've talked to me uh, about an interest in bird deals, but you said on your first deal, you wanted me to find you guys something nice and safe. Uh, and I've done that. So I wanted to hit you guys with an occupied rental property uh, first, because I think the risks are lower. I think this is a great stepping stone into building your portfolio. And you guys have uh, a large amount of money that you're working with, right? You guys are working with $200,000. So this particular property is going to take up a very small portion of the money that you are working with. And after you get your feet wet, after you get used to things, then we can move on to a little bit more advanced or difficult deals. At least that's my thought process behind your first video, the first of many that I'm going to be making for you too, right? You guys have purchased many properties, uh, analysis packages from us, right? Which is great. That's what I think everybody should do because guys, this is a get rich slow game, right? You don't just decide to be a real estate investor Monday and then on Tuesday, you got a huge portfolio. It takes time and we got to do a lot of due diligence. Due diligence costs money, costs human capital. Uh, so that's why you guys commit to us long term. We commit a lot of time and resources to you long term. And I can give you tidbits and this or that and just work with you guys, get to know you better, or you get to know me better. And I, you know, just give you guys nuggets of information as we go, right? Which kind of brings me to this property. 3547 Lloyd Road, Cleveland, 44111, listed at 89900 And this is kind of what I talked about in, in, in the front of the show, right? Clutter or cash flow, right? I got the cash flow hoodie, which if anybody's interested in it, guys, Go ahead, use the promo code HWTV10. Get yourself 10% off on your boy JYs, right? But clutter or cash flow, right? As we cruise through these photos, okay, you're going to see, well, first, first, there's some ridiculous photos in here. I, I, not all real estate agents are created equally, guys. Like, I don't, I don't know what, like, this is a fully occupied duplex, right? Let's get that out of the way first. Fully occupied duplex. Uh, we got one unit. Bringing in six fifty a month, another unit is bringing in seven hundred a month, right? So thirteen fifty comes in, sixteen thousand two hundred a year comes in, right? Fully occupied duplex. What does like you know sixteen thousand two hundred dollars a year in income have to do with like a super zoomed in shot of this like sticker 
this wine with someone sticker on the wall. Like what the, what relevance does that have uh, to this property? Or like this other shot, just like a close up shot of the tenants, uh, like, cabinet with like pictures and wine bottles right so i don't i really don't know what the the real estate agent is going for with these photos holy crap but as you cruise through them right what you what you see is, is a lot of clutter right there's just crap everywhere just stuff everywhere and I, i've been doing this for a long time and I've, I've dealt with hundreds and hundreds of investors a lot of them newer and and what happens oftentimes is i get investors they see all this clutter that you guys are looking at and, and they actually get scared of the deal. They're like, oh no, it's clutter. It's messy. I don't know if I want to deal with that. Blah, 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 blah. Guys, my opinion, clutter is good. Okay. Here's, here's the deal. You have to understand what we're dealing with. We are dealing with like a C-class asset, right? Now, C-class, D-class, crazy stuff, F-class guys, that is a tough business. You have to understand that, right? You're investing in real estate. It's not going to be all sunshine and rainbows. There are going to be issues. You're going to deal with bad tenants. If you've never, you know, watched Holton Wise TV before, you've never seen our other show called The Tenants from Hell Show, pause this video, go check some of those episodes out. I'll put a link to it in the show notes, okay? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to holtonwise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. That's real life. That's what happens in this game, right? You guys want to rent to Section 8 tenants, things of that nature, low-income folks. You're going to deal with stuff like that every now and again, right? You're going to deal with turnovers. That's part of being a landlord. That's what you signed up for right? If you guys want to buy properties in these price ranges, get these types of rents, that is your life now. You're going to deal with that. Now, of course, my team, we're going to handle all the dirty stuff on your behalf, right? We are going to handle all the hassles, right? There's a saying, it's uh, tenants, trouble, toilets, or tenants, toilets, trouble, something like that, right? We handle the tenants. We handle the toilets. We handle the trouble, right? But, but we charge you, of course, right? As with anybody who works for you, okay? So, that's your life. You have to understand that's part of the game. It's baked into the cake. That's why the prices are what they are. And of course, we're familiar dealing with these, right? We've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of assets exactly like this one, okay? But you have to understand that's what you're dealing with. So in the grand scheme of things, when you see this stuff like clutter, to me, I don't think clutter is a red flag. I like clutter. Because these two tenants that are currently in there, the tenants paying 650, the tenants paying 700, guess what? They're month to month. You know what happens on month to month? That means you can move out whenever you want, okay? Now, when a tenant moves out, then you got to fix the unit, right? Let's go to the chart, all right? $1,350 comes in, $16,200 a year. Now, as you see, a line-by-line -line breakdown of all the estimated expenses. I want to take your attention to the top line. Repairs and maintenance, $67 a month, $804 a year. Now, when a tenant is actually living in your unit, folks, it's very rare uh, that we have to do maintenance calls. Yeah, it happens from time to time, but most of the time we never do them usually. It's just, it's it's not very frequent. We're definitely not doing it 12 times a year. We're not spending $804 on an average year in repairs, right? Uh, what that is, is when the unit is vacated and it turns over, we're probably spending two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 to get that unit ready for the next tenant, guys. So that's not money you're spending every year. It's actually a savings for you. But every few years, you're going to need to drop a turnover uh, bid, okay? So what I do is even though you get that money, I'm going to set you up knowing that that shouldn't be considered real return, right? And that also goes into the next line, the vacancy and non-payment of rent, 67804, right? Of course, when a tenant's living there, there is no vacancy. There is no non-payment, right? When they're current, they're current, right? But these are things that happen in this business, so I need you guys to account for them long term, right? So the moral of that story is big expenses, guys, they result from units being turned over, which takes me back to the clutter. What the clutter, to me, it shows a tenant that doesn't have any intention of moving out, right? If they want to live there, they want to stay there. They got all their crap thrown throughout the house, right? They're not trying to move every six months, every 12 months, right? There's somebody who's comfortable living in the house, wants to keep paying you that rent, right? We make our money by keeping butts in our houses, guys. Turnover is the ultimate return killer, right? So when I see all the clutter in this home, I love it. 
I love all this crap all around, right? Maybe that's what the agent was thinking. Maybe that's why they took the picture of this fucking shelf or some shit. Maybe they're like, hey, I love clutter too. I don't know, right? That, that's good, right? So we like clutter. To me, I'm looking at some high quality cash flow and I'm looking at two tenants that don't look like they're going anywhere. And I'm gonna bring your attention back to the chart now. Let's talk about CapEx, right? Right, 804 a year, 67 a month. CapEx are like once in a lifetime type charges that I know they're coming because they're always coming, right? But you're not spending them yearly. I just want you saving for it, right? Back to the photos, see this furnace, right? I'd say that furnace is probably like 10 years old. Here's a shot of a hot water tank. That's a couple year old hot water tank, right? There's the other furnace, even newer, okay? And then this other hot water tank might be the oldest one. It's probably only like six, seven years old, right? These are your big ticket items, guys. Furnaces cost about $3,000 to replace. We got two of them in this house. Furnaces last about 30 years though, right? So you got a lot of life out of these two furnaces, but know that eventually that money, that six grand, you're going to have to pay that someday. So I have you saving for it now. Let's not consider it your return. Yes, that money's coming back to you now, but let's not consider that your return because eventually you're going to have to pay that money to replace those furnaces. There's no furnace that lasts for the rest of your life. Hot water tanks cost about a G, last about 15 years. And then as far as the roof goes, uh, haven't given us much info on the roof. Don't have any info on the roof, but those last about 30 years and they cost approximately, you know, for a house this size, probably like six, seven grand, something in that nature. Okay. So keep that stuff in mind, right? That's why it's all in the chart. But after it's all said and done, guys, I anticipate you making approximately $6,960 a year of real profit. Yes, there will be years where you take home a lot more, but know that you're saving that for those big expenses, right? And as far as the price goes, listed at $89.9, this is a, a nice property. Uh, it's going to have a lot of competition, but I would love to try to get it for you guys at 80. That's what we do. We try to negotiate deals with you guys, the best possible deals with the sellers. So if I could get this for 80 for you guys, that would be awesome. That would be an 8-7 cap. And then with the financing, that would put you right at your goal of a 20% cash on cash return, right? You reached out to me, you're like, hey, we really want hoping to make a 20% return. So 80K is the price we would need to take this investment down to hit your goal of 20%. Now, is it possible you can't buy it at 20, uh, 80K? Yeah, that's possible, right? You might have to pay 85. You might have to pay 87. You might even have to pay list. There's definitely gonna be other investors out there that are interested in this thing, right? These properties, they move quick, right? Why? Because it makes money. So if your on paper numbers aren't 20%, maybe it results in like, if we did the numbers at 89 as the purchase price, maybe it goes down to like 17%. It's neither here nor there. 3% is irrelevant, guys. This is a, a cash flow producing asset. These are the types of assets you need to stack on your portfolio. Stack one of these every few months, stack one of these a year, whatever your budget allows. These are the types of long-term investments that'll allow you to have that freedom to allow your money to work for you, right? To allow you guys to, to work in the office or work at home if you want, right? Take a few months off to travel during the year, things of that nature, right? If you do, you know, heaven forbid, uh, get fired from a job one day, you don't have to worry about that being your only source of income, right? These are great long-term investments. Will buying this particular property make you rich tomorrow? Absolutely not. But this is a safe, stable investment as far as playing in that like C-class uh, tenant space goes, right? These two tenants are not Section 8 tenants, but going forward, when we do do those eventual turns, I like to put Section 8 tenants in these types of assets because in our experiences dealing with all these types of tenants in these assets, uh, Section 8 tenants turn over fewer, fewer. The frequency of turnovers is less than cash paying tenants, number one. Number two, uh, the rent payment is much more consistent because the majority of it is guaranteed by the government, right? So our two biggest, or our biggest expense rather, right? Our, our biggest problem with the rental real estate business is tenant turnover. And then I guess the second one would be like non-payment. So evictions, which is all related to tenant turnover, which again goes back directly back to the costs, right? The repair and maintenance costs, turning these units over and over. I don't want to spend a few grand every 12 months turning a unit over if I could have that same unit only need to turn over once every seven or eight years, right? That's how I get a really profitable rental, guys. And doing the Section 8 program is, is really what leads to that. So uh, this is just a solid blue collar C-class investment in the future. When we get a natural turnover, we definitely want to go uh, with the Section 8 program. It appears these two tenants right now are, are pretty solid tenants. And based upon all the clutter, I don't think they're going anywhere. But hey, 
all bad tenants were probably good tenants at one point, right? Or any tenant that turns, you know, bad. Like it's, it, it, it's a good tenant. They're a good tenant right up until the day they aren't, right? You know, you take tenants to get evicted, you know, maybe they live there for 36 months, right? Uh, you know, they might have been a great tenant for the first 35 months, but that 36 months, boom, time to cut them, right? That's just part of the game, though, guys. We can't ever eliminate that risk, but we could always, always, always mitigate it. And I like to, you know, look at clues uh, when I'm looking at these investments that show me the risk might be mitigated. And like I said, I think clutter is one of those clues that usually means, hey, I got a tenant that ain't trying to go anywhere, right? not a transient type person, someone who's happy with home base and they're good to just hunker down there and they don't want to leave. They don't want the U-Haul truck coming, right? So Linda, Mike, I think this is a great start to your portfolio. If you guys want to move forward on this deal, reply to the private email and me and my team, we will uh, get the exact number you want to offer. Again, I think 80 is the right price and we'll reach out to the seller. We'll attempt to negotiate the best possible deal on your behalf. And then after it closes, Holton Wise will take over the property manage of this asset for you. And then we can work on moving on to the next ones. Everybody else, this video, you have, do not have the opportunity to buy this property. I sent this to Linda and I sent this to Mike um, a couple months ago, most likely by the time you guys are watching this. These shows don't get released live on Holton Wise TV until after the dust settles, right? So I do release everything on Holton Wise TV for you guys to learn about the market, learn about what happens. Uh, but if you guys, again, you want to get into the game in real time and you actually want to do deals with our team, uh, you got to go to the show notes below or to holtonwise.com and purchase yourself a MLS search and analysis or an MLS search and analysis package. We sell them in three, four, and 10 packs. And the bigger the package, the better the price, number one. Number two, the more uh, long term, the more time we have together to A, go through the due diligence on many properties to make sure we're getting you the right properties. And B, the more I could learn about you, because, you know, we like to give you a video and then I get additional feedback, right? When I reach out to you the first time, you're giving me information, but you have limited information on the market. I try to teach you a little bit about the market every single video. So your wants and your needs and your goals may change as we do videos, right? So it's, it's very much a long-term process to, to build you guys uh, the exact portfolio that fits your needs, right? So that's how you do that. That's all I've got, folks. Thank you for sticking with me. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.